All right, everybody, welcome to this episode of Maxim Outdoors. This is day two here in Sedona, Arizona, and we're doing probably the most popular trail here in Sedona, Cathedral Rock. Only like 1.2 miles, but uh, supposedly it's one of the nicer trails here in Sedona. So stay tuned. We're going to be on the top of that in just a couple minutes. All right, guys, day number two here in Sedona. We made it to Cathedral Rock Trailhead just off of Back O Beyond Road. A little confusing trying to make it here, but uh, gorgeous morning, January 13th. Got some hot air balloons floating around in the, uh, the distance there. And a really nice view of Cathedral Rock there in the distance. This is uh, gonna be the shortest trail that we do on this trip. Yeah, so it's only 1.2 miles out and back but uh, it's actually considered very technical and uh, difficult slash hard trail to do. So we're basically gonna be heading up this red rock and it's hard to see, but we're gonna be kind of in the middle of these two uh, red rock formations here. So Cathedral Rock, one other thing is you do have to get a recreation pass to, uh, to park here and do this trail. It's only a couple bucks, but uh, keep that in mind. All right, so we have uh, only 0.7 miles to the top here. Like I said, another gorgeous morning, January 13th. It's probably around 40 some degrees out, but uh, this is another one of those drills that you want to get here early because it gets absolutely crowded here throughout the day. It's Thursday and there's already a good 15 cars in the parking lot here. So also opted out on taking my book bag on this trail, which hopefully isn't a bad idea got one extra battery so hopefully I don't regret this uh, I know whenever I did old rag taking my book bag and the tripod was just an extra an extra burden trying to scramble up some of these rocks so trying to make it a little easier on ourselves today by uh, leaving some stuff back so we'll see how it goes hopefully I don't regret leaving that stuff behind All right, well, it looks like the official uh, 
trail section of this uh, hike has ended. Kind of just on the uh, red rock right now. Gained a little bit of elevation. I think uh, throughout this trail you gain about 770 feet if I remember right. Another good look at the uh, hot air balloons there in the distance. But we'll be on the top of that in uh, just a short time. It's pretty cool. And you want to follow these rock cairns obviously. There's a guy way up there. But all right, here comes the fun part. All right, like I said, uh, they consider this trail hard and technical, and uh, this looks like it's the the start of the the challenging rock scramble here. So I'm gonna start climbing up now. All right, well, we uh, have definitely gained some elevation. You could see Ringo, Ringo way out there in the distance, but uh, not so bad. Uh, I think we're probably maybe, what, 0.4 into this trail by now. A little bit of uh, scrambling, nothing too crazy, but uh, of the feeling we're not at the uh, the worst part yet. But what are, you, what are you thinking? Lots of rock scrambling, lots of hands and knees crawling. It's a blast. You gotta do this one. Another day and another trail with pretty much 360 degree views. We've really lucked out here in Arizona doing some really awesome trails. But uh, we're getting there. You can see the little, uh, I don't even know what you want to call it, the little gorge in between these two giant redstone spires here, which uh, we'll ultimately end up at. But so far so good. I thought this trail was going to be a lot more difficult than, uh, than what we have uh, already done here. But who knows? <laughs> I might be speaking too soon here. Good look though at uh, Cathedral Rock. Hard to believe where our Jeep is all the way down there. It's not even a mile away. But uh, some really awesome looking views looking towards uh, Sedona, as well as all the other uh, surrounding red rock. Tons and tons of hikes around here. Coconino National Forest. We're gonna keep on heading up. Almost there. Sam said we're at uh, 0.6 miles right now out of 0.7, so. Point Pretty much right at the base of this one here. We're gonna meander our way on through. See another hiker 
a little bit farther up here, so can't be that much farther. Alrighty, almost made it to the top here. There we go. Did it. Another uh, Arizona hike we could put under our belt. Cathedral Rock. Sun's really not quite out on the side yet, but uh, gorgeous view still. A little bit of cloud cover today, but awesome little hike. Said only uh, 0.7 miles, but it's hard to beat a trail like this. Almost 360 degree views. Sam's gonna head out on the uh, little catwalk over there and get uh, the famous Cathedral Rock photo. So yeah, I guess uh, next stop is gonna be us heading down. Now you can see Sam being a little daredevil over there. We'll take a walk over and see what the view is like over there but uh can't really beat this i thought it was going to be way more crowded up here there's literally only two other people at the top here but yeah here is where you get that famous uh cathedral rock photo that everybody wants and it is a little sketchy over here but yeah cool nonetheless awesome shot of sam here with like a 500 foot drop blower but wow Look at these views. Can't beat it for only uh, half a mile trail, pretty much. What do you think? Gorgeous. Do you like this more than Devil's Bridge? Yes. So there you have it from Sam herself. Cathedral Rock is way better than Devil's Bridge. I thought they were both pretty awesome, but it's hard to beat this view. And not really crowded at all. I'm kind of surprised. All right, well, we took a little uh, side trip. We uh, talked to, I think, one of the uh, rangers out here, and he told us that there's a little side trail, and uh, we're actually leaving it right now, but you get that awesome view of the pinnacle that I'll show you guys right now, but definitely worth the extra little rock scramble up the hill. But uh, you can see some incredible views coming down as well. But yeah, we're gonna head on back down to, to Ringo now and uh, call it a day here in Sedona. Alrighty, one last look here at Cathedral Rock before we uh, meander our way back down the trail. A couple more people here, but still not really that crowded. So and there's Sam.
All right, well, made it back down to uh, almost the parking lot. You can see Ringo there, but uh, my opinion, I think it was easier coming down. What do you think, coming down? Um, slide on your butt. Yeah, what she said. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up Cathedral Rock. Uh, I think me and Sam have uh, checked off all the bucket list uh, trails of our little Arizona road trip. You can see uh, Cathedral Rock here from the parking lot. But uh, overall, we had a lot of fun doing it. Only 1.2 miles. I think it was like 770 feet of elevation gain. You definitely feel it after you get back to the car. But yeah, what do you think about it? Did you enjoy it? What was uh, your favorite part? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, like I said, I slid down my butt the entire way down. Um, but it is, it's a lot easier for people that have longer legs like myself. We saw a few people um, that kind of struggle to get up some of the bigger rocks. Yeah. Um, so just kind of you know, be prepared for that kind of stuff. Um, it's probably smart that I didn't take my tripod because it would have been a pain yeah. in the butt. And the place definitely filled up. I mean, when we got to the top, it was literally us and two other people and uh now i could just see like a bunch of ants heading up the hill so that's gonna wrap up this episode stay tuned next week to see where else we head in arizona and as always hit that subscribe button like the video uh leave a comment or two and check us out on instagram at maxim underscore outdoors all right guys see you next week back in arizona